Hello Interwebs, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Uh, I've got a Lenovo ThinkPad here, or oh, well, is it a Lenovo? Is it? Uh, yes, it is a Lenovo. It wouldn't be an IBM, it'd be ancient if it was an IBM. Anyway, um, this thing has got no backlight. It's also got no LCD in it, but we do have an LCD. Um, so uh, the customer was replacing the LCD and they disconnected and connected a new LCD without removing the battery first. Um, now, uh, full disclosure, that's something that I've done many times and you shouldn't do it. And this is the cautionary tale of why. Um, but I think we've all done this at some point in our lives. Anyway, what has happened is the backlight to the LCD gets power through the display cable and that power is an always on rail. If the battery or the charger is connected to the laptop, then you will have battery or charger voltage to that connector all times, always hot. And so that means if you don't put in that cable perfectly straight when you connect it, you will short it out against ground and you will blow up the backlight fuse. And that's exactly what's happened here. You've kind of got to be really unlucky for it to happen, but it does happen and this is the example of why. So what we're going to do, let's take this thing apart, find the backlight fuse and see if we can replace it and get this thing up and running again. So before I get started, I've just hooked up their LCD and I've just turned the laptop on and we'll just verify that it's doing exactly what they said it was. So what I should find is that the laptop turns on and starts, we just have no backlight. So it should be on at the moment, so I'm going to grab a torch and shine it through the back of the LCD. No, I won't. I'll find an angle where we can hopefully see something on the screen. Good grief, that is the most horrifying to remove laptop keyboard I've ever seen before. Absolute garbage. That's horrendous. Oh, okay, right, now that keyboard is out, the rest of the motherboard will come out. Ugh. I'm incredibly tilted by that. However, the good news is I think I've just spotted immediately where we need to be. So here's the display the connector that we could already see while it was in the laptop. And now if I turn the board over, so on the other side of this, you can see we've got a whole row of components behind the display connector. Now it's not immediately clear to me which is the one we want because we've got like 
three things labeled fuse here. We've got F3 there, which is intact. We've got F7, which is not intact. And we've got F25, which is also intact. So F7 has blown. So if that is our backlight, then that's the dude that we want to replace. Uh, let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. That capacitor there, that's going to go to ground. So let's stick my black probe on this ground plane. Yeah, so this is power here. So that means we've got power coming into this from some direction. So that could be our backlight, but uh, it's got vias on both sides. So we can't really see where this is coming from. This fuse goes back to Q22 here. So that could be something. One of these might be powering the LCD and the other is the backlight. But what the third one is, I don't know. What about F25 here, this fuse? So that is intact. Where does that go? That's going on a magical journey down here, up to there. What's on the other side of the board to that then? Well, on the other side of that, we've got RAM. So you can actually see that plastic post there. That's part of the dim slot connector. So this is probably memory power, and that's rooting up there for some reason or other. Maybe it's getting power from nearby or something. I'm speculating wildly here without looking at schematics. Um, okay, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the DC jack and I'm going to put power on this and just see where our DC power shows up, basically. Massive multimeter display, go! I'll put my black probe on ground, and we're now just going to check if we've got charger voltage anywhere here. So I'm going to check that F7 first, because that was the one that was blown. There it is, there's 20 volts from the charger. So that is going to be our backlight rail. That's 20 volts that goes into the backlight. And this is why um, that fuse has blown, because the backlight, uh, the display cable has gone in slightly wonky, shorted that to ground, and so the fuse has popped. So we need to replace that fuse. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to go for a, I'm just going to go for a blind repair on this. Um, normally, we, when you have a blown fuse, you should kind of investigate to find out why the fuse has blown first. Um, however, we know the reason as to why it blew. It blew because the um, uh, dis, dis, the display was disconnected. The only other thing we need to do is just make sure it's not shorted to ground. And we've already done that, but I'll do it again just for good measure. So black probe on ground, and we'll just check the back of that fuse. So no, there is no short to ground. So this is fine. Let's replace that fuse. Okay, so hot air station on. We're going in at full heat, um, bleh, just under half airflow. And I'm just going to vaguely warm the area first. We're going in with low airflow here because we're working on some small components. We don't want to just obliterate the area. If I start blowing off capacitors and things like that, this is going to turn into a nightmare job. Oh, damn it. It's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Right, now I've only got fuses for MacBooks to hand, which are actually pretty large. So I've got a horrible feeling that these aren't going to fit, but I'm going to offer one up anyway just to see if that does the job. Oh yeah, we'll squeeze him in there. That'll be fine. Okay, I'll warm up my soldering iron and we're just gonna touch up those pads, put some flux in there, and I think this guy will go in just fine. One second. 
So firstly, we'll just check that the fuse is actually intact. Beep, beep. And now I'm going to check from the back of that capacitor to the fuse. There we go. So we know the fuse is on the contact pad and likewise here and here. And no short to ground. Good. Excellent. One fuse fitted. So I'll just clean up the flux from there. And then I think what I'm going to do is just throw it all back in the laptop and just see if it works. I have a suspicion that we might need a new display though, because as, again, from the start of that, didn't see any picture on the display, but it might just be a really dim, or, well, it might just be a very high contrast display. Some of the new LCDs, it's really, really hard to see anything on the screen when there's no backlight. You used to be able to almost, you almost used to be able to see it with the naked eye, then you had to shine a torch at it, but now you more, you practically can't see it anymore. Okay, I think I've got just enough of this connected up that we can try and power it up. So we'll connect our suspect LCD up and then we will give it some power. Okay, right. Please don't blow up. Bam. Right, it's powered up on its own. I'm going to give it a sec because I did disconnect to the BIOS battery. There we go. Beautiful. There we go. We saw a picture. It has disappeared again. Oh, it power cycled. Good. ThinkPad. Check date and time settings. Press escape. Blah, blah, blah. We win. We win dot gif. I love it. Okay, right. Let's power that off. We are WinRa. We've just got to reassemble now. Good, which I shall do when I've taken a break. the bit I hate the most about reassembling laptops when you put it all on you put the cover on and you start putting the screws in and you're like no nah, that ain't on properly and you know you've got to take it off again and tweak it until it does go on properly
So I had not even clocked this while I was working on it, but now I'm reassembling this laptop, I've just suddenly realized that it has two batteries. We've got a battery here, which when I was working on it, I was like, that's a really small battery, but whatever, Ultrabook, I guess. But also, it's got the main system battery here. And it's only now that I'm actually putting this thing back together, I'm like, wait, there's two batteries. So the chap who originally was working on this and got caught out by this backlight fuse live battery issue was super unlucky because obviously he didn't realize that it was a dual battery system either. And obviously he had, he had almost certainly removed the system battery because it's an externally removable battery and thought that he had taken the battery out before disconnecting the LCD panel. But there's a second battery inside that also needs to be disconnected. So this is a really trolley laptop. And on the same note, a lot of this will get cut out in editing but just so you guys know, this thing is a nightmare from an assembly perspective. This laptop has been really tough to reassemble. Um, and as I say, I'm trimming a lot of it out because it's not really relevant to the repair. And it's very dry watching someone struggle to put something back together. But yeah, this laptop, really hard to work on. And there we have it, everyone. One fixed laptop. Um, this one was a bit of a job to do the assembly work on, but the actual fault was not a huge deal. This one was more intimidating on just how difficult to disassemble this laptop is. Um, however, as you can see, we're now fully functional again. So yeah, cautionary tale about making sure you disconnect the battery. Um, it's something that I think everyone has done at some point is change, a, change the LCD without, without disconnecting the battery. I've done it many times. Um, uh, I've never been caught out by it. However, this is the second time I've uh, replaced a backlight fuse on someone who has been caught out by it. This laptop was really, really vicious for it because of that dual battery system. So took out the external battery, thought it was dead, actually wasn't dead. Just, man, the, the chap who was originally working on this will be kicking himself when he realizes what, what actually happened there. But it is what it is. In any case, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as always, my support links are down in the description below for my Twitter, my Patreon, my Discord, and also now my Instagram. Um, uh, or stick around for the end card. And I shall see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.